devices, you need to use them with an Android phone. So you don't need any dongle with this. You basically just plug it into the USB-C port on this phone, and then now it can automatically launch the Nebula app that will allow you to use these. And also one thing you should know is that this doesn't work with every Android phone. It does work with a lot of the latest Samsung phones and also Oppo phones, but it doesn't work with my Pixel phones. So I'll put up a list here of the compatible phones as far as like right now at the time of this video that these glasses will work with. But if you do have a compatible phone, you're all good to get going here. So with the Nebula app, it's pretty basic and straightforward. You have two main ways to control these glasses, and that's using the AR space or air casting. Now, air casting is basically what I talked about with the iPhone, where it will be screen mirroring what's happening on your phone. So whatever you're doing on your phone will show up in the glasses. But the AR space is this built-in operating system that Unreal has made. So basically it has its own kind of custom home screen where you have multiple different apps and things that you can select. And then also you can choose to watch some YouTube videos directly from this operating system. Now this home screen is adjustable, so you can actually tap and hold and be able to move some of the different modules around on the screen. And you have plenty of space above and below the main portion of the home screen to be able to rearrange things. And some of these icons or widgets or whatever you wanna call them are interactive, so you can see with the brightness and the sound slider, I'm able to just swipe up and down with my phone to be able to adjust those. And then also you have some different cool things you can do that's built into this software. Like they have this cycling app that allows you to put these on and hop onto a stationary bike and it will have some different videos playing from around the world of people cycling so it can kind of be something that's entertaining and then also you have some games and stuff like that that you can play as well. And also if you are watching a video or looking at a web browser window, you can make those bigger just by tapping and holding and being able to swipe it away from you and then now you can swipe left and right to be able to make that window bigger or smaller. And now let's talk about how you navigate this home screen. So your phone basically turns into this digital pointer so you can move it around to tap on an app and also your phone screen turns into this touchpad so you can swipe around to be able to navigate as well. Now this also supports head tracking so you can tap from the top of the screen, enable head tracking, and now as I move my head around, the home screen will actually follow my movement. But of course you can set it to just be stationary by enabling body tracking and now I'll have to move my head around to navigate and see what's on the home screen. Oh, and let's talk about the image quality. So the display inside of these glasses is an OLED display and it comes in at a resolution of 3840 by 1080 and also it gets up to 400 nits of brightness, which is plenty bright for a pair of glasses like this. So in most cases, especially indoors, um, the brightness is gonna be perfect for you. And you also have some controls here on the right arm of these glasses where you can actually adjust the brightness of the displays on the fly. And then also you do have a power button where you can turn off the display of the glasses. Now, ultimately my two favorite ways to use these glasses is going to be to one, browse the web so you can have multiple tabs open or multiple windows open. And it kind of acts like a multi-screen desktop setup, but it's kind of cool to be able to browse the web in this way. And then the second way is just to sit back and relax and watch some YouTube videos like this video that you're watching now. And so it's really nice to be able to have this type of portable projector with you anywhere you go but it fits on your face and this is going to be clutch when it comes to using these on a plane or for a long car ride. Now even though the screen is bright if you are outside and there's a decent amount of sunlight it still will be a little bit hard to see what's going on but that's the reason why they include this shade cover because you can put this on You've never seen anything like this before when it comes to starting side hustles from scratch. The best side hustle to start this year is not by doing e-commerce, real estate, or and now this image becomes crystal clear. Now, the bad thing about this is that you can't have that see-through effect, um, but the good thing is that now you can actually see what you're looking at. So if you are seated down and you're, you're comfortable in the area that you're in, this is definitely going to be clutch. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention this before, but when you are using the AR space mode, the screen real estate can get as big as 201 inches, and in the air casting mode, it can get as big as 130 inches. And you can even take your gaming experience to a whole nother level if you happen to have a Steam Deck like me. So you can take this USB-C cable and it plugs directly into the USB-C port at the top, and the screen would go blank, but the Steam Deck is still on. And then now, boom, I have the image right here in the glasses. And I'm telling you, it looks fantastic. You don't really 
have that much uh, input delay here. I really don't experience anything um, as far as like input lag, so it feels really good um, as I'm moving around here, and you can't see it, obviously, but it does look fantastic, and that's because um, these glasses do have 49 PPD, which stands for pixels per degree, and that's gonna be higher than what you get on something like the MetaQuest 2 and some other VR AR headsets out here. So yeah, this is a fantastic experience to be able to game on the go like this with something like the Steam Deck. But you know what, let's get in real for a second and talk about how these look on my face. And yes, I did say in real, I know it's corny, but um, let's talk about how these look because I know that's gonna be a big concern for people because you don't wanna look weird in public using these. And I have to be honest, I'm not gonna say that these look like regular sunglasses when you have them on, but at a distance when you're out in public, I don't think people are gonna feel weirded out with you wearing these uh, because they do look similar to sunglasses, some very thick and big ones, but they do blend in well. But as people get closer, they might start to notice that these aren't your regular pair of glasses, especially when you have the uh, USB-C cable hanging down from them. And when you do put the cover on these, just like so, they kind of slide on like that, you push them down. These do make me look like I'm in the men in black or something, but look, I think when you are on a plane, these aren't gonna be too bad. They kind of look like those kind of covers you put on your eyes to be able to go to sleep. Uh, but especially when you're just walking around with the cover off, you know, again, it's gonna be a little bit noticeable, but these are the best ones that I've used so far, so they have that going for them. Oh, and when when it comes to audio quality, these do have a pair of open ear speakers, one on each side, which sound just okay. They sound fine for normal use, but if you do want the best audio quality, you definitely have to pair up a pair of wireless earbuds to your smartphone to be able to use along these, but the audio quality is good. And also these do have dual microphones as well. So taking phone calls is good, but you're definitely not going to be recording a high quality podcast with them, but the microphones and the speakers are pretty good for what you get in the sunglasses type of package that you have here. All right, so the good thing about these glasses is that the lenses are clear, right? Or mostly clear. They have a little bit of tint to them, so they will help keep out the sunlight a little bit. But one thing I really like about these is the fact that you can still see the outside world while you're walking around um, or while you're just sitting down and using these. Now on the inside of the glasses, you do have these clear lenses that are gonna be actually projecting the image to you. So when you are walking around, you can kind of see the, the line of them on the bottom third of these glasses, but it's nothing that's gonna to be too distracting. I definitely wouldn't wear these while I'm driving, but um, I think just for walking around, sitting down, most activities, uh, these are gonna be able to be good for you to be able to still look at some content if you want, or even if you do unplug these from your phone and you just wanna kinda of keep them on your face while you walk to your next destination, they're gonna be fine for that type of general use. Oh, and as far as how these feel on my face, they're actually lighter than what I thought, and that's probably because these do not have that built-in battery, so that definitely decreases the weight. The only thing is that this, uh, the cord, it doesn't really get in the way that much because it is angled um, at the end here but it is one of those things that you have to kind of be mindful of especially if you're taking your backpack off and stuff but yeah generally these do feel good on my face and I can wear them for a while without them feeling uncomfortable and they do include three different size nose guards in the box so I definitely recommend that you do uh, try those out to find that right fit oh and also one other thing is that the actual kind of uh, what do you call these the the arms of these <laughs> the glasses um, actually can angle up in three different positions and so yeah you can just physically tilt them up and down and the reason why this is important is because when I first put these on uh, the actual screen was a little bit too high up so I actually had to kind of raise my my head up to be able to see everything even and leveled um, but I was able to kind of adjust the the arms here and now I can look mostly straight ahead and be able to have everything centered and nicely in view. Okay, so look, if I had to kind of wrap up my final thoughts about these glasses, I think these are going to be for people who are looking for a different way to consume media on their smartphones, whether it's watching videos or playing games. This seriously does give you a big screen that you can take with you on the go. And I've used other products like this in the past, and I've seen some at like CES and stuff where they look cool, but they don't really have the fit and finish that these do have. And uh, I think Unreal is on to something here, but these aren't perfect. There are some things I want to see improved, especially like being able to have dongle less access to your iPhone just like you have on Android phones uh, but also maybe in the future some completely wireless setup where you don't need a cable at all to be able to use these glasses on the go that would be pretty sweet and even though I generally like the look of these glasses if they can continue to try to work on making these look more like just regular sunglasses so uh, you really don't look like you're using anything in public that's definitely going to be the end goal but for right now Inreal does have the best kind of setup 
for this mixed reality type of stuff that you can use anywhere. So I'll leave a link down below to Amazon, I believe is the best way you can buy these in the US. And also I'll leave a link down below to Inreal's website so you can see wherever else you need to buy this all around the world. So anyway, let me know what you think about these glasses in the comments down below. I really wanna know your thoughts. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and also the like button if you did like this video. But like always, I do wanna thank you for watching and I will catch you later. Peace. Look, it worked. $1,400 health stimulus deposited into my account. You can't fake bank receipts. That's $1,400. All right, y'all, so look, over the years, I've had like a love-hate relationship with portable projectors because some of them have been good, but most of them have been bad. But I'm always looking for one that has the, the basics done right as far as like the picture quality, the battery life, portability, design, and also software. And this one that I have here today, the Nebula Capsule 3, does do that for me. Now, Nebula did sponsor this video, but they just sent the projector out to me and told me to capture my experience with it. And hopefully you trust me when I tell you that I really do like this projector, but I'm gonna give you some pros and some cons you know some things that i want to see done better with the next version of this so hopefully they can fix it but there's where it gets this carry around the actual wish that they did include like full with how it's a 14 from my definitely going to want into out a couple of buttons especially if you don't have the remote side because i can adjust the legs to be able to get it at the preferred way okay so now let's talk about the picture quality so the colors that it needs to on the projection system compared to the typical led system that you find in portable projectors so what does this mean well basically laser means that it'll be able to just show the colors that it needs to on the screen and this allows it to do all of the processing and just be better at some of the other areas. typically the dark it wasn't this extra brightness i still felt that the black levels were in check i was very happy with them along with the general colors that you get from this project or a small able to log there on the front on uneven ground and the correction process Okay, so these are pretty cool. These are the in real airs. These are a pair of AR glasses as I get the cord behind me <laughs> that can connect to your smartphone like your iPhone and also some Android phones and allow you to get a big 201 inch image of a video or a movie that you're watching or you can browse the web or play a game, all that cool stuff. So in real display. you know what that was just a learning experience where that kts j shyrock street legends the true cam the true harem uh king like i said uh that kts j shyrock street legends i actually took time off my job every day and i Look, it worked. $1,400 health stimulus deposited into my account. You can't fake bank receipts. That's $1,400. Unimaginable. Death is just so instantaneous. Mm -hmm. Like, when you're alive, you'd be thinking about what you would do in the moment and... Uh